I hope everybody's out there doing well today. As we head into, uh, at least for what it, me is the bulk of my tying season, kind of the colder months in the Northern Hemisphere, I want to talk to you about the cleanliness and organization of your fly tying area. Um, yes, I want it to be relaxed and I want it to be comfortable, but for me and helping me make the most of my time, if my desk is clean and organized, simply put, I get more flies tied the amount of time that I have to spend. So my desk right here behind me pretty much always looks like this unless I'm in the process of tying. Every time I finish a session, uh, I'm gonna vacuum stuff up off my desk. I'm gonna organize, pack up what I'm not gonna use the next time and I'm gonna put that away. That just saves me that time when I come back the next time. It also makes sure that my surface is free of debris and other things are gonna be floating around, messing with the materials that I'm gonna use the next time. Um, as far as organization goes, keeping stuff off on the top of my desk, I've talked about these in years past. I love using these little chunks of packing foam as a tool caddy. You can just take, you can poke little holes in them, you can plunge your stuff in there when you're done. Really quick, really cheap, and it keeps stuff up off the surface of your desk. Uh, another thing that I use, a little different variation of foam, are these longer strips, come in like electronic boxes and such. Uh, I can use them when I'm done with flies. If I'm using UV or epoxy, I can stick them in here to dry them out, let them set. I can use them for pre-beaded hooks to hold them in place. And that also keeps that mess off the surface of my desk. Makes it really easy to grab and stick back when I'm done with it. Uh, materials such as beads, I'm a huge fan of any sort of little organizers that you can get to put your beads in. You can label the tops of them so you know what sizes you are. It's a quick grab and go for those sorts of things. If you look into the desk drawers, my drawer behind me, super cheap, super simple, uh, but I'm a big fan of Ziploc bags. So what I've gone to is I have a bag essentially for every pattern that I'm gonna be tying during my tying season. And so I'm not searching out individual materials or mixing and matching. I have a bag that's labeled for that pattern. And when I pull it out, bam, bam, it's ready to go. I can lay the materials out on the desk and I can go straight into the tying process. So before you dive in, if your tying area is a total freaking wreck from last year, pause, take some time, think about how it's organized. Think about what you're doing with your desktop just to help you make the most of your time. Now we all know life's busy. I would love for you to be able to sit down and tie the absolute most that you can as far as flies go each and every time you get a chance to tie. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up off of my website, www.thinairangler.com. You can message me off of Instagram. Have a great day. Bye.